Forest Lawn, Long Beach. Here to see Nate Dog's grave with my buddy Raul. What's up, what's up? We're gonna take a look at the grave, show you it, talk a little bit about Nate Dog. Got my VIP record shirt on where Nate got his start. Uh, what else can we say about Nate Dog? King of Hooks. King of Hooks, it says that on his grave, right? Yeah. He's got a beautiful voice. Hell yeah. Yeah, he had a beautiful voice. Uh, he was 41, I think, really young when he passed away, only 41 years old. But he was on Dr. Dre's album, he did song with Dr. Dre. Uh, what would he do with Dr. Dre? Next episode, Explosive. Next episode's a great song. Shake That with Eminem, one of my favorite songs. Uh, I Got Love is one of his own songs. What was the other song we were just talking about? Uh, uh, regulate. Regu well, Regulate, yeah, but there was another song of his. Not I Got Love, what was it? Nobody does it better. Nobody does it better. That's it. Yeah, great song. But yeah, I think he first came into prominence. He was first well known for Regulate. That's got to be the most, what he's most well known for, I would say, because he yeah. was featured on it so heavily. I mean, and everybody knows Regulate. But then everybody knows Chronic 2001 with Next Episode. What a great song. And of course, singing with my man, my boy Eminem. So... So the song we're thinking of is Nobody Does It Better, right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Corona 2001, next episode. Check that song out. If, you're, if you don't know who Nate Dogg is, truly talented artist. And so he died, I believe it was uh, complications from a stroke. And which hospital was it that he passed away at? Uh, Long Beach Memorial. Long Beach Memorial. Not too far from here? Not too far. No. Very sad. So here we are. We'll take a look at the grave. It's a beautiful cemetery. Usually I have to do a lot of searching, but... Right here. Somewhere around here is with Nate Dog. No, it says nothing. No, it doesn't say Nate Dog. Here it is, right here. Yeah. So here we are here, Nathaniel D. Hale, 2011, beloved son, brother and father, King of Hooks. So we're here at Nate Dog's grave uh, my, with Raul, as we were just saying. And somebody just said, Scott, Scott, out of nowhere, which really freaked me out because that usually means I dropped my you credit. You thought it was Nate Dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was walking through the desert last week and I was deep into the desert and I hear Scott, Scott. I'm like, Who's, who could possibly know me out here? And I was like, it's fine. I turn around I'm like, yeah. And it's this guy with a baby. He goes, you dropped all your credit cards. Oh, they fell out of my pocket. He followed me through the desert which was really cool. Anyways, but we just uh, bumped into somebody who subscribes to my channel, recognized me. Paulito's Way. Paulito's Way, go to his channel. I watched one of your videos, uh, Chris Cornell, Judy Garland, and Alpha Alpha, right? Very cool. That was so weird, so random. Let me ask you a question, hold on. So what are you doing out here today? Filming grave spots. Yeah? I'm that's... only here for Nate Dog though. Yeah, that's so random. We both chose the same grave, same day, huh? <laughs> Yeah, and I knew you were in L.A. Oh, did you? Yeah, I watched your videos. Oh, you should have messaged me. We could have met up. Well, we did meet up anyways. <laughs> Technically. That's... Yeah, you want to see it? Let's go yeah. over here. So just walking through the cemetery right now, taking a look around. And a lot of people are 
some young people here. And it's always sad to see that. Always really sad to see. And uh, lots of flowers. Forest Lawn is one of the most beautiful cemeteries you would ever see anywhere. It's really gorgeous out here. All right, we're gonna go take a look at Nate Dogs one more time. There's another YouTuber. And he's subscribed to Raul's channel. Raul is subscribed to his just yesterday, right? No, before, way before. Oh, way before. Like three months ago, mm. I think. So people come out here to pay their respects to Nate Dog a lot. And here's Paul doing the same as us. Some people <clears throat> might find it weird or maybe disrespectful, but I don't think it is at all. I think it's the exact opposite. I think it's paying some respects. A lot of people can't get out here, so I like coming to places, like I've said before, graves, so people can pay their respects through my video. That's really why I do the cemetery videos, because I like to see the final resting places of my favorite uh, artists, and I think people do as well. And I know I'm not alone in that sentiment, because here's... Raul did a video about Nate Dog on his channel already, and Paul's doing one right now as well. So you can check out their channels, as well as mine. Here, well, one of my favorite videos is when you went to Corey Hames' grave. Yeah, that's just down yeah. the street from where I grew up. That's my hood. That's I'm my a, neighborhood. I'm an '80s fanatic. Yeah. Even though I was born in the '90s, but. Yeah. Yeah, you like the Corey M on him. Yeah. yeah. That school was the school I was supposed to go to, but I did not go to. I chose to go to a different school, just about five minutes away. So from Forest Lawn, Long Beach. That was Nate Dog's grave and bumping into a subscriber just randomly like that. Really nice and really sweet that it could happen at a place that uh, I've always wanted to be. I've always wanted to come to. I've always wanted to see Nate Dog's grave. It's very important that I see it. I'm glad I did and I'm glad I got to meet Paul in person. And uh, yeah, like I said, he has a YouTube channel as well. So you should subscribe to that. I'll put a link to it below in the description. And I hope you like this video. Neat dog. Rest in peace, King of the Hooks. Hold up. Hey. I really love Neat Dog. What a voice. What a voice. Like I was saying, he sings a little more. He raps, but he, but he sings a little more. He does the hook on so many rap songs. And the hook is what hooks you. That's why it's called a hook. And he was king of the hooks. So he got like a sing-songy voice. So good. Deep baritone. Nate Dog. Love you, man. Peace. Out. And hey, Raul. What's up, man? Where are we going now? We're going to pick up somebody, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to pick up my champ. His little champion. We're going to pick up his son, do some filming later on. All right. Like I just said, thanks for taking me out here, Raul. Oh, man. See you guys soon. Look, there's Paul, his girlfriend, and their little baby. And she's pregnant and having another baby. Good luck to them. I hope it works out well, and I'm going to see Paul again soon, I hope. <laughs>